What is up, everybody? I'm Jared, and I'll be going over my core four of MLB picks for prize picks today. If you're new here, make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way we know that you're following along with the picks. Also helps you to get notified when these shows are posted. We do them just about every single day. And if you're not currently playing on prize picks and you want to give that site a try, if you sign up there and deposit using promo code WINDAILY, get you 100% deposit match up to $100. We'll also go go ahead and throw in a free 60-day trial period of Win Daily Gold. Get you access to all of our daily articles. Get you access to our Discord. Uh, with it being NFL season, no better time than now because we have one of the best in the business in in terms of NFL team. Um, so if we do a recap of yesterday, we did go two and one. Jonathan India ended up not making the lineup yesterday, but Lindor homered late, got him over the number. And we also had enough strikeouts from Spencer Strider to hit the over. The only one that we missed was Brandon Nimmo. He had a pretty rough day at the plate, as did most of the Mets, uh, which was somewhat of a surprise. Yet they were in such a great spot. Today's a new day. We'll look to go 4 0 today. So let's go ahead and jump in. So the first one for our core four today is going to be Jordan Montgomery and his four strikeout prop. Let's go ahead and pull that one up. Bear with me for a second. Uh, so let's go ahead and find his strikeouts. Still wearing that Yankees cap. There we go. Jordan Montgomery, five strikeouts against Milwaukee. Um, lefties against Milwaukee are a thing now. Uh, Milwaukee has been absolutely atrocious against lefties this season, and especially recently. If we look at the projected lineup tonight versus um, St. Louis, the Brewers have a nearly 34% strikeout rate versus lefties. Uh, Renfro is the only guy on the team under 25% strikeout rate um, over the last 30 days against lefties. It's just a bad team. They do have some pop. Guys like Renfro and Adamas can hit against lefties. Um, but again, up and down this lineup, these guys really struggle to put the ball in play against lefties. Montgomery, he's been lights out as a Cardinal. He's had the one bad start against the Braves, but other than that, he's been strong. Over the last month, he has a 33% K rate. He has a ton of upside tonight between his strikeout ability and the ability for the Brewers to strike out against lefties. We have him at 7Ks. I'm going pretty heavy on Montgomery on prize picks and in DFS tonight. He's going to be my main starting pitcher. I love the over on this five strikeout prop for Jordan Montgomery tonight. The next one that we're going to go with is going to be Carlos Correa and his seven and a half hitter fantasy score. He gets a really strong matchup against Chris Bubik tonight of the Kansas City Royals. Bubik is just not a good pitcher. Um, over the last month, he's allowed a ton of con hard contact at 35%. He's also allowing just a ton of contact at 85%. When you're giving up that much contact and that much of it is hard hit, you are giving up just a ton of balls, putting a bun bunch of balls in play that are hit hard. You just can't be successful like that. And again, Bubik has just not been successful. Um, Korea has just been lights out against lefties over the last month, so it's just a great matchup for him. Over the last 30 days, he has a Woba of 425 and an ISO of 364 against Southpaw, so just a great matchup. He's one of my favorite bats on the night tonight. I'm going to be using, again, in prize picks and DFS. Um, our model has him at 10.5, so we're going to go with the over. The next one is a, a play that I go to often. Uh, so it's going to be Eloy Jimenez um, and his seven and a half hitter fantasy score. If you've watched my videos, you know I love using him against average righties. He gets a below average righty today in Chad Cool, so it's just a great matchup. Cool is a reverse splits pitcher. Jimenez is a reverse splits hitter. It's just a great, great mix of what we're going to get today for him. Um, cool has been really bad this season, especially away from cores. His road ERA is six this season compared to. I'm going to say just 4.61, 4.61 bad. Um, but again, his ERA is almost a run and a half higher on the road than it is in course. So um, I'm looking for him to really struggle tonight um, against him this year. Righties have a 505 slugging percentage and a 365 Woba. Um, Jimenez, I, again, I use him a ton against righties, especially below average righties like Chad Cool. Um, all of his offensive metrics this season and throughout his career have been way better against righties. Over the last month, he has a 436 Woba against righties and a 250 ISO. He has a ton of upside tonight, and I plan on using him pretty heavily. And again, prize picks and DFS. Um, our model has him over at over 10, so we're going to go with the over on Eloy Jimenez. 
The last one that we're going to go with is the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Trout, and his one and a half total bases. At some point, the fire is going to burn out, uh, but we're just going to continue to ride the wave with Mike Trout. He's homered in, I believe, seven straight games. He gets a nice matchup against a rookie starting pitcher tonight. Um, Trout's just been absolutely crushing the ball, especially against righties. Over the last month, he's got a 397 ISO against him and a 423 Woba. At some point, he's not going to homer. I don't think it's today because he gets a really strong matchup. He's in the zone like he's never been before, so we just need to continue to ride the wave until it until it dies out. So we're going to go with the over on Mike Trout and his one and a half total bases. So if we do a recap of what our core four today is going to be, it's going to be the over on Jordan Montgomery and his five strikeouts, the over on Carlos Correa's seven and a half at her fantasy score, the over on Eloy Jimenez's seven and a half at her fantasy score, and the over on the Mike Trout one and a half total bases. So that's our core for today. If you end up using them, make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way we know that you're following along with the picks. And if you have any questions about your own picks, just make sure to drop some notes in the comments. Always happy to answer any questions that you may have. We're on a nice run. We'll look to continue with the run today. Good luck, everybody.